Hi. Hi. Hey there. Hey there. Let's create a connection and enjoy the right. Come join us here at Open Minds. Hi. Today we will create an art project for Mother's Day. Similar to this, you will need finger paints, white paper, if you've got it, colored paper, or you may use colored pens, colored pencils. Then you will need scissors, glue, and especially you will need your hands. We will use our fingers to make the painting. Now, in the video, I use these four fingers, pointer, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky, because I've got big hands. But you may use all five fingers, so you may use your thumb, pointer, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Now, let's watch the video so you can see all the steps so we can make this card for our mother. Have fun! I would like to create the green part. These are called the stems of the flower. We are going to create the stems of the flower. So, we need green. Have you got green paint? If yes, good. If no, you can use blue and yellow and we will mix them to create green. I will put my finger in the yellow jar, this other hand, yellow jar. Then I put the same finger, the pointer, in the blue jar and I'm going to mix it up quite well and again and I'm going to start putting it on the other hand like that. This hand will go on the paper. Let's see the paper. I'm going to go like that and I will press like so. All right. And with my other hand, I will hold it up so it doesn't stick just like that. Let's do some more paint. So what colors? Yellow. In my case, I'm going to mix yellow and blue. Now, this is my three sets of stems. So I've got three pots of flowers. See? Okay, now let's get your extra piece of paper, your scrap paper. This can be recycled paper. And let's get some yellow. So dip your pointer finger into the yellow jar. Mix it up really well. And let's practice a little bit. Perhaps we want to add a little bit of red to make it orange. So, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. Let's go over here and give it a mix. Let's see what comes. Okay, that's very bright orange. That's beautiful color. Give it a bit more yellow. Okay. That's perfect now. Now, with this, I'm going to go and make the central part of the flower. Okay, let's make sure I have enough on my finger. And let's go.
right? See what I've done so far? Good. Now, why don't we just continue mixing colors with what I have? Um, I'm going to stick my, my pointer finger into the red and I will go over to my palette over here and mix it up a little bit with that. I don't want to waste, so let's use everything we have. A nice bright red. Okay, and I'm going to begin the petals. Okay, have a look. Now, shall we mix some red and blue? If I mix red <clears throat> and blue, what color do I get? My favorite color, purple. All right, let's go over here and mix beautiful deep purple. Okay, purple. All right, are you ready? Now I'm going to make the vases, the vases of the flowers. And I need to understand how big I need the paper. So I'm going to use this to measure. I've got big hands. I've got big hands because I am a grown up. You are a child. So your vases and your flowers will be smaller. So. I'm going to use this and I see that the base of the flower is about as long as this part. So, you may use a ruler to do this. I haven't got a ruler, so I'm going to use this, but you can use a ruler to measure without touching so it doesn't stick. Now, let's go back to my paper here, my recycled yellow paper, and I'm going to estimate and draw. I'm going to freely draw the shape of a vase. Okay, do you see that? I drew it by hand. Now I will get my scissors and cut it. I have cut three equal size vases. Now I'm going to glue them like this. glued the vases. Now we are missing one part of the vase. We are going to go back to our paper and we are going to add one more part, which is the rim of the vase. Okay, how's that? Like that. Then you get your glue and off you go. Go and glue it on the vase. Okay, there's the first one. Do you see the rim? And here we go. This is the final product. Look at our three pots of flowers as a present for our mothers for Mother's Day. Now, we're going to write Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. If you haven't got colored paper, you may Get a white paper and with your felt tip pens or with your markers, with colored pencils, you can write it out. Now I'm going to use some scrap paper. I've got some orange, I've got some blue, and I'm going to write Happy Mother's Day in big block letters. Then I will cut them out and glue them on the picture.
If you like, this is another idea. So you can be creative and decide what you want to write in the picture. I love you. Okay, bye bye.